Hi everyone, today we are going to start our Monet inspired winter landscape. I'm using a thick watercolor piece of paper, but if you don't have that, any paper that you do have will be just fine. I am also going to be using tape to show you the method that we'll be doing as a resist by making trees out of masking tape. Painter's tape also works and possibly some scotch tape, but masking tape and painter's tape is probably the best. If you don't have tape at the end of this video, I will show you how you would do this without tape and just drawing your trees. So to start, I would write my name and my teacher code on my paper uh, on the back side. So I'm just going to write it real small down here. And your teacher code would be three and then your teacher's initial and then flip it over. Okay. To make our trees, we will be tearing strips of masking tape. Now, all of our trees need to go to the very top of our paper, but they're not all going to go to the bottom. So we're gonna start with our biggest tree that will be in the foreground. The foreground comes before anything else. So when I rip my tape, I like to measure it out to almost the bottom of my paper. You can use scissors or I just use my thumb to help rip the tape and then try not to get it stuck to yourself. Okay. So I'm taking my tape piece that I have ripped and making sure it goes all the way to the top and off the top of my paper. And I also like to make it just a little bit as a diagonal, not perfectly straight up and down. So mine is just slightly a diagonal. Notice that the bottom stops about one hand away from the very bottom of our paper. So leaving a little bit of space. Any extra tape you have, you can rip off or wait till the end and rip all of the extra tape that you might have hanging off the top edge. Okay, next we need to add some branches. So the same thing, I'm going to rip a little piece of tape about this size. And now I'm going to rip this tape in half long ways. So putting my two hands together and pinch, and then I'm going to twist and rip. It's okay if you get some weird pieces. Not all trees look exactly the same. They're usually not really super straight and flat. And I'm gonna take these branches off the top of my paper as well. I'm only gonna add a couple. If you have um, some extra tape, you can put it off to the side for later for our next tree because they will need some branches too. Smoothing down, trying to get any creases or air bubbles out and ripping any tape that's hanging off the edge. So I have this one little piece. I'm going to put that off to the side, off the side of my table until I'm ready for it. And now I'm ready for my next tree. So. Our first tree is in the foreground. It's closest to the bottom of our paper. Our next trees are going to start a little bit farther up and they're gonna be a little bit smaller. So starting with my tape again, I have ripped a piece that's shorter than my first one. And now I'm going to tear in half long ways. So just like we did with our branches, I'm gonna start at the top and rip all the way down to get a skinnier tree. Okay, I have two pieces. I'm going to put one off to the side. I'll use that one in just a second. And this one, I want to make sure it goes all the way off the top of my paper. Again, I put it at a little bit of an angle. Most trees don't grow perfectly straight up and down. Okay. So you can see it starts a little bit higher up. Here's the other piece from that side of the tape. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, making sure it goes all the way to the top and smoothing it down. Now I am ready for some branches. So just tearing little strips of tape to make my branches. This is actually pretty long. They don't need to be quite so long. I'm taking them off the top of my paper. If you have a piece of tape where one side is thicker than the other side, put the thicker side on the tree trunk 
So that's how it would be in nature. It's okay if they overlap a little bit, okay? If one of your trees is a little too far up, you can always get an extra piece of tape and bring it down just a little bit if you need to. So they're not all in the same level. Okay, our last tree is going to be our skinniest and our farthest away. So it's gonna be even farther up on our picture. So this is our foreground. These are kind of in the middle or the middle ground. Our next one is going to be closer to the background. So I have an even smaller piece of tape. I'm going to rip it in half so it's really skinny. And wherever you have room for this, it might be all the way off to the side here. I'm going to start this one about here. And you can see my tape wasn't quite long enough, so I'm just going to add another piece to make it reach the top of my picture. You want to make sure all of your trees go to the very top of your picture, otherwise it looks like a lumberjack came through and cut all of your trees down. So make sure it goes all the way to the top. And maybe I'll add a couple branches on that one too. Maybe just one branch. One little guy. If you have space somewhere else and you want to add another tree, maybe this is your teeniest, tiniest tree, really far in the background, you could do that. That's a really skinny guy. All the way in the background. And I'll give him one little branch. Actually, you know what? I'll put a different branch over on this guy. There. Boom. And there you have your taped trees. Now, if you are drawing your trees, if you don't have masking tape or painter's tape to use, if you're drawing your trees, I will show you how to do that on the back side here. It would be the same idea. So we're going to start about a hand from the bottom and draw our first tree that's in the foreground and taking the trunk all the way up to the top. Okay, all the way up to the top. And you can make some branches coming off if you wish. Our next tree is going to start a little bit further up and it's going to be a little bit skinnier. If you want to, you can split the top into a Y shape. So I have this kind of Y shape and inside I can make a letter V. So now it looks like my tree is starting to split for the branches and I can add a branch here and there if I want. Same thing on the other side. Maybe this one I'm gonna put a little closer over here. And his branches are gonna go right off the page. Just drawing your trees anywhere you think works. Notice that the base of my tree is a little bit wider than the trunk. Next, I'm going to move it up just a little bit further to the middle or background of my picture and make a skinnier tree. This is going to be our smallest trees. Just adding some branches here and there. If you have somewhere that you think you could fit another one, feel free to add. You should have about four or five trees when you're done especially if you're drawing. If you're using the tape, it can be a little uh, trickier to get four or five trees on there because of how thick the tape is. And there you go. It's the start of your forest.